Why can I not hear Hunter? Hello? Oh. Can you hear me? What? Can Can you hear me? I can hear Nick. Hi. I mean, Nick, you can you can podcast. Really? Yeah. You don't have to. Wow. We, we don't have to see you. <laughs> well, dude, don't don't act like that. <laughs> act like what? Wow, me. Oh. Okay. You're more than welcome on this show. I know. I was We're, invited. You're beyond but invited, dude. You work pretty hard on it. Wow. The, the people have que- the people have questions for you. Do you want to answer it like two of them? Sure. Okay, I th- I think out of this range of questions, I like this one the most. What kind of kebabs are you making at 2 a.m.? Lamb kebabs. Why lamb? Uh, that's just the recipe that I found. Okay. Do you do this often? Uh, it's been a while, but in Texas, I'd make them like every week. That's insane, bro. Do you think... How would you rate your own kebabs? Uh, 10 out of 10. Now I want Nick kebabs. <laughs> and I'm not being ironic. I actually want to try your cooking. All right. Oh, um, well, <laughs> actually, I don't know. I'm, I have like really bad uh, like sense of taste. I feel like, I don't know. I'll eat like slop. Oh. Like, do you know what Soylent is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that's, I don't mind that. Oh, I like I like this. I like Oh, now I see why I hear you. No, I knew you were sitting next to me the whole time because yeah. I'm uh we're in the same place. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Um Hunter, get out. We me and Nick have more questions to go through. <laughs> okay. We'll save the last question for later. <laughs> This is the last time you mess with Stretch. And Fade. Are we already recording? Oh, we've been live. Oh my god. Guess what, dude? Restart. (laughs) No. What do you mean, no? You're fucking 30 minutes. Yeah, bitch. Restart. No. Yeah, like how he's like, yeah, I'm actually just going to show up 30 minutes late, <laughs> and uh, I'm here, so it's recording, so we're not restarting. Listen, listen, listen. I'll take all the lashings for that. I'll take all my lashings. I woke up late because I, I had to go get my prostate checked. Everyone was so concerned. Oh, yeah? Yeah, all the comments think I have prostate cancer. Is this actually how we're starting the episode? Is this what we're doing? Yeah, why not? Especially what, how, how long has it been recording? A minute and a half? <laughs> Starting on Nick sitting in your chair is... <laughs> he can come back, I'm just saying. <laughs> can you- I like that. Well, I, it was, I thought you were doing it on purpose, because when the fucking Zoom turned on for me, I just see Nick sitting there like, hello. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't even know you were in the building. I was uh, writing a thing on my whiteboard for Nick. <laughs> <laughs> to remember to be positive? No. To give a... It's like a video structure. We're writing a new script thing, and I need to write something down. Nice, dude. Uh, uh, what's in your what's in what's in your shaker bottle? What's in my shaker? Yeah. Oh, it's uh my my gamer subs flavor that comes out next month. Oh, what flavor is that? It's a flavor called raw meat. It's really good. Nice. It's very tasty. Nice. Um. Anyways, dude, yeah, people think I have prostate cancer. That's fine. We can restart the episode, and you can start with that if you want. Hard reset. Here we go. Okay, hard reset. Here we are. It starts now. You can keep it rolling, but it starts right now. My energy is up. Energy's up. Did you actually have to get your asshole fingered? Um, or hey, sorry, first couple seconds, right? YouTube. Yeah. Did you actually have to get your your tiny Tim fit? Well, that seems like probably a penis. Did you have to get your yeah, your you brown knot? Yeah, yeah. Fiddled yeah, with. Yeah. yeah your. What, what would you say? Your knot poked. Yeah, your brown knot. Yeah, your brown knot tickled. Well, uh, the thing is, I've had it done before. Really. Mm-hmm. Because my uh, 
My dad had prostate cancer. Still does. Fuck, man. That's brutal. Yeah, he's doing all right. But I've been thinking maybe... It's funny. I've been thinking for a minute I should get checked out. And so I'm, I'm going to do that. Oh, so you, you haven't yet. You're just like, I've done it before, but I need to go back. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like the first time that you did it? Was it just like... Did the doctor at least like sweet talk you a little bit? Oh, yeah. She... um. Oh, it's a she? Yeah. She, uh, well, the the story starts with a she. Okay, there you go. She goes, all right, now, when he comes in here, just know that he has your best interests in mind. And I said, what does that mean? And she just kind of winks at me and she walks out the room. Okay, okay that definitely didn't happen. But I want to know, did, did she actually, did it end with a guy? No, no, it was actually a woman. And I was oh, getting my- fortunate. I was getting my balloon not tickled um, for a different reason. For what reason was that? <laughs> I just went to the doctor. I was like, hey, man, <laughs> I want to know what it feels like. <laughs> nah, I, was, uh, I had a fucking, I had a hemorrhoid. And I go, oh, dude. Yeah. I was Brutal. Like, let, me get it, let me get this uh, figured out. And so she, uh, I just turned around, dropped trow. Get a finger in my ass. We pretend like that's super normal. And then we ran into each other. Huh? No, it it definitely is. Yeah. You was so wait, how old were you when you got your hemorrhoid? Uh 25, 26. Wow. That feels young. I felt I thought like hemorrhoids, I thought was like well, to be fair, I guess I got man, I got a nasty one. I got like a fucking I got like a green apple Jolly Rancher hemorrhoid yeah. last year. Yeah. That motherfucker was hard and mean. Yeah. That was unbelievable. Yeah. That was it. But it didn't, it wasn't like when I was sitting down, because I know some people are like, oh, I have hemorrhoids. It hurts when I sit down. And it was never that. It was mostly just when I shat out, it just like kind of monkey brained out of my asshole. It just was kind of like, hey, how you doing? You know? So I don't know if that's too much like a hemorrhoid, hemorrhoid, but it was disgusting. Yeah. No, nah, mine, uh, Mine would just kind of show up uh, during the dookie. It'd be like, hey oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was okay. That's what was mine mine was too. Yeah. So you never had to have like the ring or anything that you had to sit on? No. Nah. Like that. No. But I, she, I never she, went to her. She puts her finger in my ass. Uh. And then we chat, whatever. And then we ran into each other at our apartment complex gym the next day. Or like, no, a week later. Were you checking to make sure she was like hit, like wiping down all the machines that she was using and hitting the hand sanitizer and shit? <laughs> <laughs> just policing her. Hey, man, I know what you do at work. She's just doing finger exercises right there in the gym. Yeah. Puts like a five pound hand weight on two of her fingers and just does curls. <laughs> no, I feel like if I'm going to get it done, I want like a fucking old, old man with some of those like Vienna sausage fingers, dude. I've heard stories. So if you're going to get up there and get it, just get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've heard stories, man, of uh, of the prostate guys having thick hands. Well, what I've heard about prostate doctors is the guys that have thick hands are almost like, it's like getting kissed by an angel yeah. or something. Like, it's they know how to get in there and get out because they're sympathetic to their large, ogreish hands. I've heard this, too. Versus some of those fucking, those witches, dude, that are these women that have like, well, my hands are slender, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Those motherfuckers, like Edward Scissorhands in your asshole. Unbelievable. I mean, they go knuckles deep, too. Yeah. Like, you feel my wedding ring? Yeah. Yeah. I've heard, um, I've heard the witch doctors actually use three fingers, and they don't even need to. That's not even like a medical practice. Yeah. They just like to get in there and see what they can find. How does that feel? <laughs> uh, it feels okay, I guess. <laughs> All right, how does that feel? <laughs> A little, little, it's a little more vindictive behind the tone of their voice. <laughs> they just get Uh-oh, in there and I spread. I, I, I think I feel a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I hope the doctor says when I get my prostate checked. <laughs> oh, Ooh, this is not good. Yeah. Yeah, I hope they have no filter and they just like vomit out the news mm. straight away. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yikes, pal. Yeah, this feels bad. <laughs> 
Yeah. You know what I hate is that the doctors, too, they always tell you the the bad news when they're, like, washing their hands. Like, mm-hmm. they're just like, okay, well, you were disgusting, so yeah. let me wash my hands in this tiny sink in the room. Yeah. <laughs> so I was playing around your asshole. Have you ever had one of those, like, talking to you, like, that casually? Like, <laughs> but not even facing you, right? Yeah. Casually just washing their hands, and they're just like, you ever have one of those, uh, what is it, like, a Laffy Taffy? Ooh, got a lot of stuff in my hands here. You got a, You ever have one of those Laffy Taffies that has the nerds all over it? I'm like, uh, like the long candy, that kind of candy thing. I'm like, yeah, that was the same texture it was inside your asshole, and that's not good. And that's when they turn around and they do like they sit down in that little fucking swivel yeah. chair that they have to move around a lot in the room. Yeah, and they always slap their knees. Yeah, yeah. There you go, nerd rope. You, the the inside of your asshole was like a nerd rope. <laughs> that's insane, dude. I don't, I don't even know what I would do. I'd be perplexed if a fucking doctor told me that. Inside your asshole feels and looks like a nerd rope. Has like a flashlight. Has like one of those like has like a spelunking helmet with like the flashlight on. He's like looking around like this. Oh damn! Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, the Spring Cleaning Champions Manscaped. This season, make sure to groom your carpets and the drapes with the leaders and below the waist grooming. Clear out that winter brush with Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 and watch your confidence bloom like the springtime flowers. Embrace the season and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our special offer. Go to manscaped.com and use code STRETCH for 20% off plus free shipping. Yeah, before Manscaped, I had to use all these bad products that made my dick hair, like, get twisted in the razors and stuff, but Manscaped makes it much easier to basically shave all of the fat. I call it my second beard downstairs. My little chubby cheek downstairs, right, the little paunch above my cock, it's able to shove that easy, shave that easier, groom around the pimples and all kinds of stuff, and it makes it very easy to use. And after using Manscaped, I can finally say I've caught the spring fever. <clears throat> Introducing the season's champ, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Their fifth generation trimmer features two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, which Hunter likes to do on his muff, and a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. It also features dual LED spotlights to guide you through the darkest winter debris and navigate those delicate areas like your gooch and asshole. Hate making a mess? Not to worry. This bad boy is waterproof. Shave in the shower, in the bath, or in the ocean. <laughs> That's fine. This thing is great because it comes with a compact case for easy travel. <sighs> Spring cleaning doesn't just apply to the nether regions. Get the full grooming experience with Manscaped's signature Beard Hedger Pro Kit plus Handyman Electric Face Shaver. Whether you're looking to craft your signature look or clean up that neckline, neck beards, we're looking at you. These are always the right tools for the job. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code STRETCH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with code STRETCH at manscaped.com. Nothing like a little spring cleaning in your pants. You, you ever read that like classic Reddit story about, um, I think it's, like a pretty famous one where the dude goes to get his prostate checked and he gets just instantly hard. <laughs> no, that happened to my dad though. One time. Yeah. My dad got hard one time. He told me during a doctor's visit and, uh, the guy grabbed that literally grabbed his dick and like smashed the, the head of his dick like that. And it made him soft. What? Isn't that crazy? That's why I'm not, I'm not even joking. That's a real thing. Literally like a fucking one of those Flintstones like bomb pop popsicles that like kind of peek out. Yeah. Like, Hello. Pop yeah. up like that. He just bow. Did that to him. My dad was like, damn. That's all he did. That's all he said. <laughs> He's like, well, I didn't even know what the hell just happened. <laughs> but no, he said it made him like super soft. And he didn't get hard for like two days. Two days? That's what he told me. He was like, I could get up fuck Hunter, 48 hours. He broke it down into hours, and I'm like, dude, just say two days. Like, why were you getting extremely specific with the hours? <laughs> like, you're on some kind of like hard regiment, dude. Oh, I well, got to be hard every six hours, or I, I just go insane. Well, he wasn't on a hard regiment for about two days. That's just crazy that you can reset someone's dick like that. But I, I don't know what I, I don't know if it's just like a jolt if it spooks you, and then you get you just get soft or what's going on. But <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I don't. I I don't know. He just said, "If you ever get hard, just do it yourself." You ever like? I don't think that's like putting a gun in your mouth, dude. I don't know if I could even like. I don't know if I could slap my the tip of my retcock like that. Uh, 
get myself soft again. I don't like medically. I don't think I could do it. I'd have to have someone do it. I don't think that's something you can do to yourself. I think it's one of those no. where it has to be done by another person. To have the yeah, to have the pressure and like the, the amount of force you need behind it. Yeah, be like one of those things where if it's like. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Trying to hit yourself or something like that. You're never really doing it full force no, or anything. No. You ever, Your brain's like, don't, it's going to hurt. Do you still get um, randomly hard in public? Oh, yeah. 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 I don't think it'll ever go away. I'm <laughs> at this point where, yeah, man. Unbelievable. I'll tell you why, dude. That's sometimes why I always wear that eighth grade fit. Elastic gym shorts and shit. You got to tuck and pray, my friend. Tuck and pray. <laughs> That's you can do. <laughs> what's fucked up is there's a lot of I don't, I don't even think i find a lot of things that i tried it's just like oh it's 3 p.m there it is yeah how about you do you yeah i think that's fine i don't think it ever goes away dude nah but i i feel sometimes like just from flying i feel like my body just doesn't know what time zone it is so i'll be on like an 8 a.m flight oh and i go to sit down and then i'm just hard as nails next to an old dude and i'm like sorry man my body thinks it's like <laughs> some other time have you ever had a, a person be like hey you're hard next to you um yeah <laughs> i if this is true that's awesome I just, uh, <laughs> well buddy you're hard you're in first class and you're hard well not like well it's not the 70s anymore young man i, I just feel that i just pictured like just freaking out in the middle of my sleep and just like waking up after this episode and like grabbing my dick on a plane and i'm like smacking it to try <laughs> to shut it down <laughs> I like the idea of some guy having a wet dream on a plane. Oh, that's my biggest fear, man. Like wakes him up. Hey, I just had a wet dream. <laughs> you just know this guy like has a huge oyster in his pants. Okay. <laughs> thanks for thanks for telling me. It was awesome. <laughs> when was the last time you, you you have any wet dreams? Um Yeah. Yeah. I had one recently. I was What's uh, your stance on wet dreams? Well, you like them? Dude, no, I was it's so funny. My wet dreams, this is like a strange thing I've talked about before. All my wet dreams, they're never sexual. It's me taking a piss. That is odd. Yeah. It's like the that, weirdest thing. I like That is strange, dude. You got, you got piss fetish maybe? Maybe your body's telling you, you want to put some fucking pee pee on you. You want to pee pee on somebody. Maybe, bro. But I I think I have like this weird inception mechanism now. Like that's my um, Leonardo DiCaprio. My dreams. If I start approaching a toilet in my dreams, I always, I legitimately like PTSD. Wake up. That's insane, dude. Yeah, you're that nervous, huh? You do you have a P PTSD because you're just like no 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 I don't want the mess. Yeah, that's what you do. Yes, you wake up. Yes, <laughs> that's intense, man. Yeah. Well, I'll just give you. I mean, I don't know what you got going on in your personal life or whatever, your own kinks or whatever, but I'd I'd stay away from the pee stuff, dude. <laughs> I just can't. It just it just tastes so sweet. <laughs> no, I mean I, I've had nothing but bad experiences with it. I just don't even. I I never recommend it to anybody. Pee play, huh? Pee play. Yeah. When have I, you I, done pee play? When I was in college, I was like nineteen. Okay. This chick loved when I just like just have piss all over her chest. That's the weirdest thing, dude. Love to have just piss all over her chest and stuff like that. We did it a couple times. I mean, I mean, you know, whatever. Yeah. Usually, it's usually after the fact. So it's just like by the time I'm pissing on the chest, I'm 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 out, I'm out of there. I'm right. out the door. Right. You know what I mean, if anything, it's just like a nice like I would have been doing it in the toilet anyways. So I'm just like, Phew. it's almost uh, nice salutations before you go. Yeah. I remember, yeah, this one time, man, I had a horrible diet. I mean, I think I probably ate like fucking like a family bucket of KFC or something like that. something terrible at some party at school or something. And it may, I mean, I, it was the most rancid piss. I mean, it was borderline like Dijon Brown and I could just tell both of us were just uncomfortable with it. And that kind of ended that whole, that whole parade. That's tough, man. And just judging your I pee color. I room piss for her too. I don't know. It, I, I don't, I, I don't understand the psychology behind it. I just know some people get down with pee. Yeah. What do you do, dude? Some people like weird smells and stuff. No? <laughs> <laughs> Peeing after the fact is, is kind of. It's kind of uh, crazy because you got to d hard and then p. Oh, I no, nah, you know what? It's always a challenge. I I do whatever I have to do, dude. Oh, I I'm the kind of person, man. I can't just I can't hold piss, you know. So no matter what, I gotta I gotta just get it out. 
Is what I, is what I always say. On people, toilets, you name it. You got me thinking I got to get back to the ass doctor. Get my shit checked out again. <laughs> I haven't been in a long have time because I got really embarrassed the first time I did it. And I don't think I even fully did it right. I don't think the exam was even properly done. Not like there was malpractice, but I think like I, I think I caused some corruption and I don't think that I even like I don't think even the doctor fully committed. Like I think he was kind of like sketched out and he was like, Yeah, you're fine. Why did I think what? I was too young to even be in there? I was like twenty two. Yeah. Well like getting checked out. You know what I mean? What happened? Did you uh did you ask for it too nervously and you you, you scared him off or when he got a tip when he got his tip in there, were you like <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? This is I'm this well, I went to the doctor because I was I was finding like blood in my shit a lot, and they were like, "You should really go check yourself out if that happens." So I had like, I mean, like basically slices of cherry pie just in the toilet every time I was using the restroom. I was like, "This is a bit peculiar." Turns out that I ate a piece of a bone and it was cutting in my gutty works or whatever, but it turned out to be all right. But when I went in there and the guy was getting ready to like, this is not this wasn't it wasn't necessary. Like the guy was getting ready to do the evaluation or the inspection, the oil dip. Yeah. Um. Oil check. Basically, I sat there and because I think I was I was on my side, you know. Yeah. And I didn't. It wasn't a fart, but I swear to God, my asshole whistled. I had never heard it before in my life. I had never had a fart like that before, and I didn't push anything out. But it just had. To, he made you whistle. Huh? He made you whistle. I guess I don't know if I was nervous or what, but it was just like it made me feel. I was like, dude, I'm loose. Is what I thought, like an old moonshine jug or something like that. You know, whenever you hear like a, it was like that, except literally it was like, like a, like a wind going through an old cavern. Right. And then because he did that, I was like, I, he was like, what he said to me, what was that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And then it, it was like, he, he kind of, he like went in there, but I don't think he really gave it all he had. I think he was just kind of like, what are we doing? You know? So I don't know if he knew about the like the chicken bone or what or like the bone that was in my body, but I don't know. All I know, I need to go back probably sometime. I think you should do it more often than not. Maybe not a colonoscopy or anything, but just go in there and have a guy just check it out, see what's up. Hunter, let's try. It- let's go travel to the nicest hospital in America, and let's get a joint prostate. <laughs> yeah, holding hands. Yeah, we make it a little. We make it a little. Um, you know, it'll be cute. We we can um we can cut it down for TikTok. You know, you know what's messed up is that I think you could do that with two separate doctors, and that wouldn't be that weird. But if it's one doctor using both of his hands on two patients, yeah, that feels inappropriate to me. Yeah, <laughs> just a human. I don't Chinese know. I don't know the trap. delineation or why, but that's just how I feel. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be the human Chinese finger trap. <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh-oh, can't get out. How do we get out of this? I'm like, okay, seriously, thank you. Thank you for the procedure. Do you think uh-oh. it would turn into a competition between us on who could keep his finger in there longer? Like, we're just squeezing at that point? I wouldn't let him go. I do Kegels all the time, dude. My asshole's a fucking iron claw. <laughs> He'd be like, it's got me, yeah. it's got me! <laughs> yeah, dude, wait, wait till you see me in there, dude. I'm going to fucking have his palm. I'm going to be eating his fucking arm. I'm going to get down to his wrist and be like, "What? what's up now, champ? Dude, I don't, I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but I imagine that you do that. You're like, you're, you're almost to his elbow, right? <laughs> I mean, he's like pressing against you and stuff, but both of your fucking legs are like back above your head, crisscross like that. And you're just kind of like walking on your ass cheeks towards him as you just devour this guy like a fucking, like a, like an anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> Just Stanley Kubrick staring him at him the whole time. <laughs> He's screaming for his life, <laughs> crying to his mother. Yeah. Yeah. Help! Help! God! Yeah. That would be painful, dude. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. If I Am I still beside you in this scenario? Yeah, I think like you're just like a demonic helper that's like pinning him down on the other yeah, yeah. side. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm like just the evil witch that's just like... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and you're you're making sure he can't leave, so I can so yeah. my ass can get its fucking its fill. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> let him feed. Let him feed. Yes. And I talk about my anus like it's a entity. <laughs> like, let it consume. Let it consume. Let it go. It's hungry. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, I uh, I don't know. I need to get. I think everybody needs to watch out. People, it's kind of fucked up. They say like, oh, you don't have to get your asshole checked till you're like late thirties and your forties. I'm like, you should probably get that shit checked out. I, know, I think it should be a more regular thing, not necessarily a full colonoscopy. Is because the colonoscopy you have to like put the thing up. Yeah. I'm just talking about a doctor just putting a couple fingers in your ass and checking around. No, I agree. Is that man. a colonoscopy? No, colonoscopy is when they like run the Gatorade through your stomach. They like put okay, yeah, that that in there you, and- you, I think that'll fuck you. Like if you did that too much, I think it would fuck you up. But I think like having a doctor come in and just give you like. Yeah, just like a little fucking turkey bowling ball special or whatever. It's like, yep. just let it happen. <laughs> you just be happier in the long run, I think. Peace of mind. I'm also, get, I, the older I get, the more of a hypochondriac I get. So I, I'm, I'm self diagnosing myself all the time. What do you think your biggest illness is right now? Diabetes, for sure. <laughs> without, l- literally, without a doubt in my mind, I, I, I know I have, I'm pre diabetic. As you sip gamer stuff. <laughs> Hey, buddy, this is keto-friendly, zero sugar, buddy. Oh, is it? It is. Nice. It has bits of probably like plastic particles and stuff that are delicious, and I would never besmirch such a great company that sponsors me, and I love them. Yeah. But it is zero sugar, and it is uh, keto-friendly and stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Did you see Dune 2? No, I didn't see Dune 2. I I figured, do you even care to see it? I feel like it's not your thing. Nah, I don't really give a fuck. I'm sure it's fine. I like the director of that of those movies. I just I'm not a big sci fi guy. So. No, I know. All It'll right. take a while. Like I'd pro- I'll probably see it whenever it's just on rental yeah. or something. You know. Did you watch one? I'm sure it's a fine movie. I just don't care. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did you watch the first one? No, I didn't even see the first one. Mm. I heard you can skip the first one though and just watch the second one. Yeah, you technically could. Like you just kind of need to know who's who, and then you could just dive into the second film. But yeah, that's what I thought. I was just like, you know, I heard the first movie is all just kind of boring, build some stuff up, but I hear you still get the same shit except more action in the second one. So yeah, whatever. If I'm watching sci-fi, dude, I'm watching Total Recall on repeat. Oh, bro. Right? The bro. 90s version. Would you say that Total Recall could count as like a Christmas movie? No. Are you thinking of, are you thinking of uh, Die Hard? No, I'm thinking of Arnold. Oh, Okay. Yeah, no, Total Recall is not a Christmas movie at all. I don't know why, man. I, lo- I love watching this movie in December. Oh, I, I, I think it's it, it could be any holiday then, because I think you could put it on any time of year and enjoy it. Yeah. This might be my favorite Arnold movie. I love Paul Verhoeven, too, so, you know. Yeah. Paul, Her- Paul Verhoeven fucking rules. <laughs> um, Dude, yeah, I don't know, dude. Total Recall. I don't I got it. I'm trying to think if there's a better... Like True lies, bro. Predator's True lies. Good, but even, I think that don't. Total Recall is better than Predator. Like I have more fun watching Total Recall. Don't don't sleep on True Lies, man. Just a dumbass action movie. Yeah, True Lies is fun too. Jamie Lee Curtis doing the sexy dance. Yeah, impossible. <laughs> I always had to pretend like <laughs> that's when the the family pillow was straight over my lap. Oh really? With the with the Jamie Lee Curtis deal? Yeah, dude. She's like in lingerie, going all go, just like going crazy. Oh, I feel you. I was like, "Yep." Jamie Lee Curtis always looked like my like one of my grandpas, <laughs> my step grandpa. Kind of had that ghoulish cheekbone vibe. I always thought Jamie Lee Curtis was hot as fuck though on Freaky Friday. Pull up Freaky Friday. Honest. I don't remember that movie. Short hair, older Jamie Lee Curtis can get it, dude. <laughs> Bitch you heard it here feminine, first, folks. From more Hunter grace, Hancock, like an shorter, older Jamie Lee Curtis can get it. Yeah, dude, definitely. She ruled in uh everything, everywhere all at once too. Yeah, maybe not. You know, you know, she's definitely an older woman there. But Freaky Friday, Jamie Lee Curtis, come on, dude. Come on, dude. I mean, sure. No, have you not seen this? Hell yeah. Do I know what, Lovey? Have you not seen this? I. Uh, it's so good. I think I've seen it. I just don't remember it. Freaky Friday? Yeah. Oh, this movie rules. i definitely seen it. Peak, peak Lindsay Lohan era? Yeah, I was just thinking yesterday because everyone's talking about that new Nickelodeon documentary and I forgot about like Lindsay Lohan, like her whole, <laughs> the whole arc of her in Ibiza and then yelling at the woman in the street. The child actors, man, they don't fare well. People swapping body movies around this time is so fucked up. You have this one. I think this is definitely a remake, I think, from a movie in the 70s. Mm. Um, Let's look it up. 
But I oh. also around this time, Rob Schneider and Hot Chick came out. Yeah, that was pretty much. Oh, and then um, uh, Sh- Shallow Hal. Yeah, Shallow Hal. Was well, that- I wouldn't say that's a body. That's not necessarily a swapping body film. That's just a dickhead learns how to see people's inner beauty. I fucking love Shallow Hal. Is so fucking. Wait, wait, wait. Am I am I blurring two things here? Is Shallow Hal? Um, what's his face who made Apocalypto and? No, sorry. Apocalypto? No, Mel what's Gibson? the... Oh, are you thinking of... Uh, yeah, what's the one Mel Gibson did? Are you did? thinking of Mel Gibson? He did... Mel Gibson did like... Uh, Mel Gibson did What Women Want, which is also a great thing, but that's also more of a shallow hell vibe of he gets to hear yeah, what yeah, people yeah. think it's not about really him body swapping. So he gets to kind of like manipulate shit. It's not body swapping. What Women Want rules too. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Yeah. Yeah, this was like... This was a big theme, like early 2000s. Like, what if this person was this other person? <laughs> yeah, dude. Remember Tony Robbins always fucking scared the shit out of me in that elevator scene? He's such a big, like... Dude, he's still he's like scared. a fucking, like, yeah. weird Greek, like, like mythological creature. Yeah. You gotta see what's going on on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> he, like, runs a cult now, basically. <laughs> I want you to feel good about yourself. Give me seventy thousand dollars. <laughs> unironically, he, like, lives bro, on an island and has like a bunch of like workers there. Like, I, it's, it's it's odd, bro. Unironically, he seems like someone you would have like concepted. <laughs> like, I feel like this is a person that you would just call me and be like, "I'm thinking of this character. <laughs> He's just this fucking Atlas Stone holding psychopath with crazy ass teeth." Dude, I'm such a fucking sheep too. I know that if I went to one of these seminars, I would totally get looped in. I'd be like, I'd be all in. I know, Tony dude, Robbins. I know people that are deep in Tony Robbins. It hurts. Oh, really? Yeah. Like people that actually like him? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I got. I know it's all about like self worth and stuff like that, but he, yeah, he sells these like packages. I don't, I don't know, bro. Look up. Um, he does a thing at his conferences where he has people walk on fire. And it's gone there bad. Go. <laughs> Conquer your fears, dude. Why not? No, it's gone wrong. <laughs> it, anything for you, Tony. I think there was like I'll some... Anything. Yeah. <laughs> 30 people... You what does it say? 30 people injured when Tony Robbins' hot coal ritual goes wrong. <laughs> Well, do, you, do they know that, like, are they, yeah, no shit, they're injured. They're walking on fire, dude. Tony's like, hello? Yeah. <laughs> what, what the fuck did I do wrong? Oh, yeah, did you get a burn on the bottom of your foot? No shit. Dude, get this fucking video away from me, dude. This is, this, this Tony Robbins slander is enough. Yeah, actually, I take it back. I thought they were, like, you know, second degree all over their body, but if it's just a little blister on the foot, then you're just not made for the program. Yeah, see, look at that. Confidence. Look at that, dude. Look at that confidence. Yep. It's crazy to think that each one of those heads is like twenty thousand dollars or something like that. Yeah, five grand or something. No, unironically, it's twenty k for the weekend. No, well, you got twenty k, dude. What? You should fucking go do it for a video. I should go do it every month. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I can't. I'm like, oh, nice, man. You got yet in stand up? No, I'm going down to Fiji again to Tony Robbins' yeah. uh, plantation where we're gonna do fire walks for seventy two hours straight. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, man. I'm doing the uh, Tony Robbins thing in Mumbai. Yeah, it's going to be... Um... Oh, Noel. <laughs> Welcome back. You could be... You know what, dude? I feel like you could be a nice henchman for Tony Robbins. Because he's really big. You're kind of tiny. Whoa. It'd be a fun juxtaposition. It's kind of like... It's like that Yu Yu Hakusho anime where it's uh, Taguro and his brother. Because Taguro is really big and then you could be his brother who sits on his shoulder. Pull that up for me. Pull that up real quick. Pull that up for me real, real fast. Um, OV hey, can we go ahead and pull up that Yu Yu Hakusho thing really quick? Ovi oh, doesn't know that virgin shit you're talking about. You're going to have to slow Yu Yu it down. That Yu Yu Hakusho stuff to Goro and his uh, brother? Can we go ahead and pull that up real quick? Wait, what is it? Can we pull up that Yu Yu Hakusho to Goro thing real quick? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Goro and his brother. some virgin shit. To Goro and his brother? To Goro and his brother? Yu Yu Hakusho anime to Goro and his brother? <laughs> to Goro and his brother? Okay. All right. So we have people who apparently 
don't know how to ask. Uh, do we have a 78-year-old woman or man in the back that has never operated a computer before? It's all good. No problem. Uh, OV- I'm now realizing what a commodity Jamie is. Yeah. Ovi's fingers are recovering because we smashed them because she uh, took an extra lunch. <laughs> yeah, she's like, can I have a cheese sandwich? You guys take out a ball pen hammer and just break <laughs> her knuckles. No! No, you can't! Yeah, we smashed each of her fingers with a, with a duck bowling bowling ball. Um, and so they're just recovering, so she can't type very fast. That's okay. Ovi, you know what? No problem. Ovi says, you, you, hawkish, what is it? Yu Yu Hakusho is Yu Yu Hakusho, and it's Taguro, T E G U R O, and his brother. Oh, you don't have to look this up. This don't, don't put this version. Absolutely, shit in see her right own. there. That no, no, no. That image right there in the middle. That would be you and Tony Robbins. That's all I wanted you to see. That's all it was, dude. So I'm the tall one, right? Okay, well, this is a figure, and we didn't need to like zoom in on anything, but whatever, it doesn't matter. That's Tony Robbins. That could be you, dude. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, I'm the tall one, right? There's gonna be some people who get mad pussy and some mad boy butt who are just like, oh fuck, you, Hakusho. Okay, I feel you. Yeah, I know exactly that reference, dude. That's a sick call out. That's what they're gonna say. They won't say that. <laughs> I heard Nick clapping in the back room too. He loves that reference. Yeah, Nick, don't clap too hard. Don't you hurt yourself. Okay. Um, do you have any plans to get like a a new a new car? Yeah, all the time. What are you getting? What are you wanting to get? I don't know. It's just kind of a day of the week thing. How I feel. Well, okay. Well, that's that's interesting. So, what what's the thing that's been catching your eye now? Ah, oh, man, it's just Ferraris, Lambos, Bentleys. Like, how do you choose? Would you want a Ferrari? Um, genuinely, no. Oh, I think for some of those old, like '80s Ferraris with like it's like the what is it like the back of it, like the back where like the lights are at, are completely flat. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, kind of goes. It kind of looks like a speed racer car. Yeah, I think those look sick. Yeah, classic Ferraris are awesome. Um, some of the newer ones they're cool, but yeah, I don't don't particularly care for. Them. No, you know what's fucked up about these? Are these is, are these the new Ferraris? Uh yeah, look up like, uh, what's a newer one? Like I was just saying, because these look like fucking Corvettes. Yep, cringe. Yep. The SF ninety is that a new one? Oh, so you were just throwing me for a loop? What? No, I I genuinely would not want one of these cars. I think the, no, no, I meant like you said, like I want a Ferrari, a Bentley. You were just fucking with me. <laughs> well, no, I mean if I if I decided, I could walk out of this studio and just go sign up for one of these if I so please. But but what's the what would be the car you're actually wanting? <laughs> <laughs> no, genuinely, um, I I rent. I met this dude in Portland who works at like a um, Porsche reseller. And he got me really peaked about the Porsche 997.2 GT3, which is just like a 2011 GT3. Um, yeah, you could just do 911 uh, 997.2. Careful. Careful. Careful, bleep that out. Bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so one of these era GT3s. God, dude, really? Yeah, they're like wide body. They got a lot of fucking power and uh when you put a little sauce on them they rip you already have you already don't you, you already have a porsche though i do but so why do you want another one don't you want i mean i'd be like well no dip your finger in a different taste dude different brand uh I'm, you, you know i'm kind of like when i find a shirt i buy like 20 different colors of it that's i think how my brain works here oh so now you're just like a porsche loyalist loyalist now yeah porsche nationalist <laughs> You're a Porsche nationalist? Uh, no, nah, I mean, if there's another type of car, I think I'd want something like off-road. Um, like, a, I don't know, like, yeah, classic 4x4. Anything, literally anything in that category. That or a dune buggy. A fucking... You know what I'd kill for? Huh? I'd kill for that black Jeep that's at the beginning of Goonies. Oh, pull that up. Pull. I think that's a fucking, like, it's probably a Jeep... Cherokee, sheep, Grand Cherokee, whatever. Oh, one of these, yeah. 
Try to tell me that isn't a fucking mean looking car. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. One of these, but like lifted with big. Look at that, dude. Tires. I don't lift it, dude. Come on, don't be fucking. No. Cringe. Just put get the fucking stock tires and just drive it like a man. No. Nope. I'll lift it up, looking like a goddamn giant Toy Story car. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that's lifted right there. I know. I don't like it. <laughs> I just like the body, dude. Bro, when are you gonna buy your Astro van? I see listings for those all the time. I want a I want a nice van. I was gonna send you one the other day. It was ten grand. It was it was like, uh, the basis. It was like the beginnings of what could have been an insane van. I want a fucking. You want one of those Dodge vans, with the single window. I want either. I want either a van I can it's so cheap that I can add on stuff like a a nice screen that has car play mm-hmm. get the computer updated in it. Mm-hmm. So it looks like a total piece of shit from the in, outside but it actually is really nice. Okay. Or I want was it it's like a fucking a Ford Astro. Yeah, dude, type van at bring a trailer. Let's see what they got. I don't know. What made I would I I I would love a van. I think my body type, I think that I would fit a van very well. And I don't, I don't like hippie vans though. Those fucking old timey hippie van. Fuck that. Get me out of that. I don't want some cute Japanese bullshit either. I want some like a mom drove this in 1998 van. Keep going. Keep going. And I just want to fuck it up. Keep going. Like that one in the middle, that road trek. I feel like you'd fuck with this road trek. Yeah. No, because. And this is me just being a dick, but I I hate the idea about being like, someone would see that and they'd be like, this is probably one of those TikTok fucks who's just like, we're living in our van, gaming Fortnite uh, in the middle of nowhere using Starlink. Wait. I don't like that. Do they use, the, uh, this van I associate with like mom or Midwest uncle that's like, yeah, I got this shit for uh, for seven grand down the way. I just had to replace that one the middle parts. One? Too too fancy, dude. All right. Too too uh No, this is this is a this is a van life van. Hunter's gonna start like hitting Nick. Don't show him that. Ah, there you go. Bro, come on. You fuck with this. It is pretty nice. Too many windows though. Lock them down. Because if you're gonna do something that style, you need it to not have the windows to where you can do like the sick airbrush art on it. Yeah. What made you ask like me that, that if, I'm, if I'm looking for a car? <laughs> that is that is fucking sick. I'll be honest. <laughs> what made you ask me if I'm looking for a car? I don't know, dude. It's your interest. I'm just a friend asking, you know, yeah. we're two friends having a podcast. I know that you like cars. Yeah. I'm just trying to get down to your level, trying to gain your interest and see if it can peak something within me, you know? Yeah, for sure. No, I genuinely, um, I have been wanting like a shitty sports car, like, Something sub 20K that I could like beat up and it's kind of slow. Dude, why don't you get like a fucking car that's like cost you no money? Like get a, get a fucking 93 Toyota Paseo or like an old or an old fucking Fiero. Yeah. Imagine that, dude. Imagine that being your pet project and you just get to soup it the fuck up. An old- Type in a 1993 Toyota Paseo. I drove that. I drove one of these in uh, high school. The Paseo? I know you drove the Fiero. Fiero is a sick car, though. No, no, I didn't drive the Fiero. I had a friend who owned the Fiero. I drove the Toyota Paseo. Oh, got it. Oh, dude. dude imagine you getting one of these mint fucking condition driving around. <laughs> Try to tell me you would not love that. I, I, I would. <laughs> I don't. You don't know. I had a manual. I had a manual Fiero. Oh, I man. fucking loved it. Or a manual uh, Paseo, and I loved it. Yeah, that honestly would probably be like top ten driving experiences. Dude, look up a. Uh, this one is like kind of try hard. The have you seen those like Mazda Cafe racers? No, uh, uh-uh. Mazda Cafe racer. Yeah, pull up. Um, oh no, sorry, cappuccino. Mazda cappuccino. Mazda cappuccino. Cappuccino racer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Suzuki cappuccino. Why do I think it's Mazda? Dude, my brain is fucking off. Uh, yeah, that uh, uh, the stock one, like top row, red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
pull up one. I could just see you driving in this, just going down to like Trader Joe's and getting some fucking bananas <laughs> or some fucking, I don't know, plantain chips and ground beef. <laughs> Why not, dude? No plantain chips. Wouldn't that be a nice cheap. little shit kicker? Just like a nice little commuter? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I almost bought one. I know a guy that like imports these and he's always sending me some crazy ass cars. Um, like old vintage Japanese stuff that's really tiny that could fit in your living room. But uh it's actually the more I look at it, dude, I don't like how compact it is. But it's like probably the same dimension as a Paseo. No, this is definitely small. In the Paseo, you at least had a back seat. I mean, look at that, dude. The guy's almost as long <laughs> laying down. What about dude? Noel, what what do I have to do to get you to get a 2004 Ford Taurus? <laughs> Nothing. Just find me one. I'm sure dude, they're like the, a- it's the problem. I mean, like I don't know. Open your eyes, blink once, and you'll find one. <laughs> no shot. I feel like I feel like I saw more of those around. A nice, a, a nice like uh, a nice like cream Ford Taurus, bro. Go on get auto that trader. Dad energy going. Go on auto trader right now. Hell yeah. And let's see what the listings are for a Ford absolutely Taurus. a nice just a nice fucking Ford Taurus back in the day. Fuck yeah. Why not, man? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> This this fucking podcast is devolving into also us just looking at a website. This is fucking boring. <laughs> you asked me about cars, dude. Yeah, I know, and I I'm trying to get us out of it now. <laughs> I, no, these are too new. These four just do we they need to be way older. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There, there you, you go. go. That's what you want on it. It's right there. Holy shit. There it is. Look at Holy that. Shit. Oh yeah. Seven, yeah. Six grand, dude. Fuck off. Knock that five. That off. is insanely high price for a 2002 Ford Taurus. This thing should be fifty bucks and a blowjob max. Oh yeah. Look at this. This is a car where you should be able, like, look, I will suck you off if you give me the keys, and someone says yes. It is meant. Tell you that it is meant, but it's a Ford Taurus. If I rolled into L.A. and you were driving this around as your as your commuter, I'd be like, this is amazing. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. Yeah, man, you wouldn't catch me dead in this thing. You wouldn't catch me fucking dead in this. Fucking dead in this thing. Can we get Nick, dude? The people want to talk to Nick. Nick, come here real quick. The people are curious about Nick. <laughs> Keep it brief because he gets scared easy. Yeah, okay. Noel and wants to talk to you about some stuff. <laughs> Wait, Nick, I didn't ask you earlier. You get a haircut? I did. It looks good, man. Thanks. I got the fuckboy special. That's not true. <laughs> not only is that not true, but literally one day I was like, You're you need to go get your haircut. <laughs> I like how like I says the fuck boy special. He's just running his fingers through. He's trying to make it sexy. <laughs> yeah, I told him to get his hair cut one day. He was like in the middle of work day, and I was like, "Get up and fucking go." <laughs> his whole thing of why he was putting it off too was that it was a forty dollar haircut. How did how much did you end up paying for it? Sports clips, thirty nine dollars with a seven dollar tip. So that's a pretty good tip. You're looking after him, Nick. All right, Nick. Yeah. First and foremost, how's the new car? It's good. It's it's got a rattle though. <laughs> a rattle from what? <laughs> well, it's like the it's like the plastic. Mm. Um, yeah. Like, I don't know. Or it's my speaker blown out. <laughs> Already? No. Fucking even going hard, dude. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you listening to? You usually listen to like. He listens to like a lot of like lesbian pop. What the fuck was that when he first met you? What was what was the band? What was that chick you were doing? Holly Herndon. Holly Herndon. Yeah, I put that thing on. My fuck, how about I had a panic attack? <laughs> He's like, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Holly Herndon. Embarrassed. I like that selfie cam. <laughs> I don't even know what her music. Is. I just want to say Holly Herndon's good. By the way, just want to say sh- yeah, put, put out there. Beautiful. When you say lesbian okay, pop, I think of that old um, like Russian a, band object- tattoo. Objectifier or anything. What do you say? I so said when you say like lesbian pop, I think of that old Russian band tattoo. No, 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 T A T U. But the one they used to play in the theaters. You remember this? I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. No, probably something from the seventies. He's, he's an old guy. 
No, I always think of like uh, I think of like hundred decks and like fucking. I think of like death grips. It's lesbian. Oh pop. no! What the Sorry. fuck are you talking about? No, it's like I'm talking about like hundred decks, or I'm talking like. Uh, I don't know. Lesbian? What the fuck's that band where people like it because there's that one person in it? Phoebe Bridges. What's her band? Oh, uh, a boy. Wait, it's just called Boy. No, that it's... sounds kind of sounds like a lesbian <laughs> pop band name, doesn't it? What is it? Uh, not Boyhood. Boy, it's probably Boyhood. Boy oh, genius. No, no, no. Boy genius. Joy Boy. No, that's One Piece. Joy Boy. <laughs> one Piece. <laughs> Is it, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Nick, tell us about Joy Boy. <laughs> oh, One Piece, a Gear Five. Well, actually, that's spoilers. So <laughs> delete that. Oh God, redact that. We don't talk about spoilers on the podcast. Sure, we do. All right, Nick. Who are these actual questions from the people? How do you feel about capital capital punishment? Is, uh, is that the death penalty? Yeah, I think so. Mm, I guess it's okay sometimes. <laughs> who? What's, who? It, what's the instance? Said, yeah, yeah. When where, is it where's okay to use the fucking die? death penalty? Oh, if they've like. Try to be discreet. Yeah, they've touched a lot of children. And it's proven. It's proven. <laughs> so if it's hypothetical touching, you're like, keep them alive. Well, it's, it's like, I'm just saying, the, the one thing I don't like about the death penalty is where you hear about where it's like, oh, uh, you know, this guy did a crime, got put to death, and then two years later you find out, oh, he didn't actually do it. Yeah. Bummer. So, <laughs> I think. <laughs> that is a bummer, you say Nick. bummer like that when you read the news <laughs> <Yeah>. article? <laughs> bummer. <laughs> Nick shouting bummer after reading a fucking wrongful <laughs> conviction headline while listening to Holly Herndon. <laughs> <laughs> bummer. Bummer. So yeah, I think I think in certain cases it's fine. Also, well, they say it, it's more expensive to kill them because of the legal process. So that's also a negative, right? How a negative process for well the the like, for us taxpayers? Oh, the taxpayers. Yeah, are paying more. I'm just being selfish here. I'm paying for their suicide. Basically. Well, yeah, inevitable death. murder, murder. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, what would what do you think would be if you had somebody? I'm trying to put, like, if someone murdered your son, do you think that person deserves to oh, yeah. death penalty? Yeah. So you're an eye for an eye kind of guy? Yeah. Okay. So you don't believe in rehabilitation? No. Just, like, mur- no. revenge? Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. I don't care. People don't change. Wow. That's optimistic of you to say. <laughs> someone asked, what's your favorite dinosaur? Mm. Uh, 10-year-old me would say no. Velociraptor. We're just saying you as now. <laughs> not yeah, talking, Nick, don't try to worm out of it. <laughs> I don't, uh, a dilapasaur. <laughs> what is a dilapasaur? <laughs> what the fuck is a dilapasaur? <laughs> I think those are the ones that would the the venom. Oh, that yeah. from Jurassic Park. I see. That's a, that's a, that's a hot question yeah. for you because that this this motherfucker <laughs> loves Jurassic Park, hates the book, <laughs> loves the movie. All right. Yeah. <laughs> The book, uh, the book sucks. I tell you what, though, you do you bring up Jurassic Park a lot. How do you watch? Well, that you, that's, well, a, that's another interesting thing about you is like you'll you'll be like, oh, I love Jurassic Park, and you'll have I saw, I saw it once. <laughs> you don't ever like you don't rewatch anything. You consume all this media, but you never really watch anything. I just like it's how true. I like how Nick, you just try to pretend like you don't have a dinosaur you like currently. <laughs> you're like, you're like, oh, well, ten year old me. <laughs> I do, yeah, I, I do like how long it took him to get to that answer. Well, fifteen hmm, year old to, me. Hmm. Nah, bro. Today, search up. Hold on, I'm. What is it? The Dilaposaur? Is that what it's called? <laughs> the guy who spits venom. I'm telling you, ten year old me. No, see, I made that up. Whatever. The, 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 so you just made up a dinosaur <laughs> name. It's it's not even called a Dilaposaur. <laughs> There you go. Well, no. yeah, that thing. Yeah. All right. The Dila- Dila- whatever. Just, yeah. Just pronounced there you go. different. Because it's like it's like a velociraptor, but it it's like also spits venom. So, what does that intrigue you? The velociraptor? Well, just uh, all of all everything you just said, because you're like it's a velociraptor <laughs> that spits venom. 
is I just it's like, like a long range weapon. It could, uh, <laughs> I don't know, attack its target from far away. And I just love <laughs> Velociraptors as a child. <laughs> Why do you keep preferencing as a child? Can you not like them now? Are you like afraid oh, to I, like them now? I don't. I was just obsessed as a kid. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My, I you wanted to uh, like, like dance the... out of it, being like, "Oh no!" Like when I was ten. But when I was yeah. ten, <laughs> when yeah, I was I mean, yeah. you can like you can like Velociraptors now. It's okay. No, I changed. <laughs> so you don't like them now? No, I didn't say that. Are you a fan of? Do you like the whole theory that it's like, oh, they were all covered in feathers, or are you like just keep them bald? Mm. I like the I like the feathers. I think that's they look kind of ugly, but I kind of dig that. That's fine. <laughs> that, that could be your opinion. That's okay. it. Okay. All right, dude. This they need to make a this dinosaur kind of feels like when a fucking kid like combines like a machine gun with like a motorcycle. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know if that makes sense, but this this thing seems overpowered. Yeah. See, that's that's why it's my favorite now. Yeah. All right. That's cool. So big news here. Um, Nick, as an adult, his his favorite dinosaur is a Dilophosaur. Everyone who is wondering that in the comments. Really got to delineate that the Velociraptor <laughs> was that appreciation it's, for the Velociraptor. It's overused. It's over like it's it's oh so so, yeah. hipster. I'm a like, contrarian. Yeah, it's like the Velociraptor is too yeah. popular now. Sure, sure, sure. So how's your people were asking about your love life? Are you dating it's anybody? Barren. Okay. It's it's been a uphill battle. It's uh, yeah, not good. You're you I, you work those apps too, dude. Like a fucking like, yeah, like a I, guy, guy mining for gold in the 1840s. Motherfucker's I, working his ass off. I started on Tinder and Bumble, and then now I'm on Facebook dating. I just can't be good. <laughs> Facebook dating can't be good. There's no way, dude. No, but you match with people. That's like the surprising thing. Like Tinder, you don't match with anybody. And then Bumble, uh, you do match with people, but then they never message you. Well, what's the, is Facebook dating? Because I know you always swipe like Asian girls because you got to type. Mm-hmm. So is that is Facebook, is that where you met that one girl where you, Yeah. That yeah. that girl? All yeah. right. Yeah. Is that also where those Chinese guys keep scamming you? No, that's Bumble. Bumble's a Chinese yeah. guy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the same dude. That might, it might be matching with over and over again. Nick, might how, be. How, has a bunch of burner accounts. Nick, how's, how's the Chinese guy scamming you? Is he just putting on a wig and he's tricking you every time, or he's just he's getting pictures from like people from like actually like uh, China and South Korea, and then I'll like look and be like, oh, there's like why is there you know Chinese on the buildings? <laughs> Thought he could pull a fast one on me, <laughs> but you liked him. Well, I, I just, I'm, I'm the type of guy where I see the first picture and I just, there's you're, like, yeah, you're just you like, know, you're, I, you're, <laughs> you're, <deep. laughs> you're like, I would love to yeah. make love to this woman. I worry about the details after we've met, you know, no point of like lingering and like creating a fantasy in your head on a person you, you haven't even met. So it's just like, oh, swipe, so you know, just do it real quick. Mm. And then if you do match with them, then you read. And then you realize, you know, if they're cool or not, or if they're Chinese uh, scammers. So you're just, you're burning through these apps, dude. Yeah. I always thought it was you look and you look at the profile and you no. kind of look at them. Waste of time. Because I remember back in the day, like, okay, just let me, let me, let me hypothesize here a bit. I, back in the day, I thought it was like, I always saw how cringy girls used to be in their bios. Mm-hmm. And I remember always just like, what the fuck, it? what are we doing here? I remember like, even if you're like, yeah, she's pretty, but what the, what the fuck is these like, Overuse of emojis and all that kind of stuff, and I was like, mm. "Nah." So you don't even care about that. You're just well. Like, that's afterwards. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, mm. that's a, like, like I said, there's you put too much effort. Why, why waste like five minutes reading and thinking about it when you could just kind of automate it? That feels <laughs> <laughs> that feels <laughs> wrong to me. <laughs> you describing it like that I, I know where your mind's coming from but i feel like it's just efficiency you know yeah, but, 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 but efficient to what just like i said there's no reason to be like like uh creating like you read this you'd be like oh wow this person seems cool well i don't think you have to be like oh I, you know you're getting your hopes i mean i know what you're saying like you don't want to get your hopes up or 
like create a false fantasy of what's going to happen. But you could at least be like, would I even be generally interested in this person? Because you're saying that at face value, would I have sex with them? And you're like rostering it off. Yes, I would fuck. Yes, I would fuck. Yes, I would fuck. No, 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 no. Yes, I would fuck. Yes, I would fuck. So you don't even care. You don't, you don't even care about anything else when you're picking. It's just all face value. Yeah. When I'm picking, when I'm swiping. Right, it's all looks. But then it's, it, yes. Yeah. And then... <laughs> <laughs> but at least you're honest then then you get to talk to them and then you get to be like oh this person's interesting or boring sure um a lot of times they're boring but <laughs> <laughs> is that do you think that's just women as a whole or do you think no. that's oh okay. no i can't say that what did you say but you can't <laughs> you can't say that but you believe it what do you no, say no. oh okay what did nick no, just say i didn't hear that at the, all Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oops. Hopefully it came through uh, in the audio recording. He basically said that he swipes on women left and right for their looks to basically see oh, if no, he would no, have no. sex with them or not. Oh, no, no, no. I got that bit. I'm talking about the end where you were like, what? oh. Wait. You were I like, at least you're honest. Oh. Oh, because he said that uh, usually the women, all the women he talks to are not interesting to talk to. <laughs> And no, I, I didn't say all. I you, said, well, you, impl I said, you implied every woman that you talked to is, it was relatively boring. And I said, I said most, but I meant I was well, some, some, some. Of it. I was trying to say earlier that I feel like I'm picturing Nick standing in the bank as he's filling out a wire form, realizing, oh, maybe this person is a dude. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, I don't think I don't think he'd ever send money, even if even if the woman was in dire straits and he could help and he actually loved her. I don't think he would give her money. No, <laughs> if, if he could be two years into a relationship, but I don't think that he would wire. That's just who he is, though. That's just his yeah. principles. You know? OK. All right. Well, I mean, <laughs> Nick, why don't you tell us your thoughts on skinny jeans? I don't know who's asking this. Uh, yeah, skinny, thoughts on skinny jeans. I, I wear them. You wear skinny jeans. You don't wear skinny jeans. Oh, I'm, I I mostly wear Dude, that pajamas. Is the, that is the <laughs> biggest fucking lie. Yeah, you dress like out of all those Indian street food car videos that we're seeing with that audio, like the audio that's like meow, 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 meow. you dress like all of those. Like you dress like a Persian like street vendor. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah, like, yeah, like a weird like 1980s British like kind of like fancy or like a like what what is it? It's like a t-shirt, but they have like the two buttons up here. Oh, you know what? Like, you have like a. It's like it's supposed to be a relatively nice, oh. like an Aeropostale shirt with sandals uh, and Henley sweats. Or, and it looks like Nick has a tunic on saying. right now from here. It looks like he's got base armor. Oh, you got like a thermal, like yeah, that kind of thing. You have that deal. <laughs> and he's wearing. He's actually wearing pants today. I'm wearing pants, but I'm wearing slippers. And he's wearing. Okay, well, you don't need to put your like <laughs> leg up like that. But the uh, yeah, no. So I, don't, I I do wear skinny jeans. Those are the only jeans I have. <laughs> so I got a question for you. Next Nick. question. How's your eye? Oh, well, it's looking better. It's looking better. What the? The uh, doctor said it's a yeast infection on your fucking eye. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's from my dogs. <laughs> Nick, I thought dating was going bad. <laughs> Well, no, yeah, I mean, it's going bad, but <laughs> <laughs> a yeast infection in your eye from your dogs. Yeah, they scratched my eyes, both of them, but just the left one got infected. <laughs> and I knew it. I knew it was them because it fucking hurt. <laughs> and <laughs> But yeah, I went to the doctor and I was like, what is this? I was like, am I dying? And he's like, oh, it kind of looks like a, like a yeast infection. So then he prescribed me like a, is it Vagicel? He like. <laughs> you actually, you're taking Vagicel right now. Nick. You're taking Vagicel for your eye? Nick. Are you, <laughs> Are you actually taking Vagisil, bro? Are you actually taking Vagisil for it your says, It says vaginal yeast, like treatment. 
<laughs> that is so, that is so good. Oh my god! I did not know you were taking matches. So <laughs> oh. oh god! I, I, yeah, I'm three weeks into the four week program. <laughs> it's on a four week course of vaginal yeast infection for your fucking eye, dude. <laughs> I'm three weeks into my four week program. It's such a funny line. Oh shit! Yeah. To be fair, I was. It was like a clinic I went to, and I don't think he knew very much. Why did you go to a clinic and not just a doctor? Oh, I, I was because they. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what if you just end up taking fucking Vagisil for? Four weeks for no reason. Like, what if this shit just comes back? But it's working. It's working. Oh, it's, all right. It's going away. It is. Yeah. The I will say the the mark under his eye is actually going now. That's hilarious. Yeah. So, so that is insane. That's man. really funny. But yeah, not. He said not cancer. He didn't do any tests. He just looked at it and he said <laughs> he, he didn't do any tests at all. It's like that's a yeast infection. Take this. And then I like he didn't even tell me it's for vaginal yeast. I just. Picked up the medicine and then like read it, and then yeah. Was the pharmacist like? Yeah, they were. You? Well, they had to explain the thing, and she's kind of looking at me, kind of weird. To put this on your <laughs> pussy. Uh, it's a pill, and you're like, oh, oh okay. So you just... It's like a children's pill though, because it dissolves in my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> it's a children's. It's a children's pill. <laughs> did you go to? A, did you go to a pediatrician? <laughs> Well, I sat there on the doctor's table, and it was a giant. Uh, it was a giant train bed, um, and I thought it was kind of weird. But yeah, he gave me it was a pediatrics thing. He, I was able to color for a while. While I was waiting for the doctor, and well, nice. dude, Nick yeah. just coloring in a velociraptor while he waits for his fucking vagisil fill. Yeah, he's like, "Do you have any dilapasaurs actually? Because this one's kind of overplayed." So, damn, Nick. Well, thank you for. The funniest thing to happen all year. Um, that is, I did not know that. That's insane, man. Oh, I thought I thought I told you. I told Harry. No. Harry, how did you not? How do we not talk about this? His Vagisil medicine. You didn't talk about that. Oh, oh, you didn't even tell Harry. Okay. He was just lied. Okay, we well, just blatantly <laughs> lied on the podcast. Okay. I told someone. Who? I don't know. Maybe. One of, well, probably one of the fucking <laughs> probably one of the fucking Chinese guys on these websites. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Lou Kim. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. I got <laughs> Vagisil today, and the guy's just like, totally normal. Send me money. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, good luck. Thank you. Well, thank you, oh, Nick. Camera thank show you, up, everyone, dude. for tuning in to another riveting episode of Stretch and Fade. Um, we'll see you all next time. And goodbye. Hunter wants you to know that he loves you. I don't. He loves you so much. I don't. I don't know you. He loves you. Sorry. More than he could describe. I appreciate you watching, but I don't I don't know you. All right, guys. Sorry. See ya.